Begin by lying flat on the floor on your back. Grab the right knee with both hands and pull towards the chest as far in as possible. Now elevate the upper back and flex your neck towards the knee. At this point it is okay if the left knee bends slightly. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat process with other leg. Now grab both knees at the same time and pull towards the chest with the upper back and neck flexed towards the knee. Hold for 10 seconds and release. Stand about 45 degrees to the right of the wall about shoulder width away. Place your hands on the wall and rotate the shoulders to the right until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for 10 seconds. Repeat process to the left side in the same manner. Stand straight and elevate the left arm to the side of the head and bend sideways to the right until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for 10 seconds. Repeat process on the left. Start by lying flat on the floor with your arms out over your head. Slide the hands towards the chest and arch the back as far up as possible by pushing off the elbows. Be very cautious to not elevate the pelvis off the floor where contact to the floor must be maintained at all times. Hold position for three seconds and return down to the starting position for three seconds. A variation of this may be done by placing the hands on the side and pushing up with your hands following the same guidelines. In a sitting or standing position, standing preferred, and with the head in a neutral position, rotate the head to the right by placing your left fingers on your left cheekbone and apply a small and subtle amount of pressure to the right until you feel mild pulling or tension. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat process to the left in the same manner as before using your right hand. With the head in a neutral position, bend the head sideways to the left by placing the left hand and fingers on the right temple and apply small subtle amount of pressure towards the left side until you feel mild pulling or tension. Hold for 10 seconds and repeat process on the right side but using the right hand. This next exercise may be done with caution and only if recommended by the doctor. Flex your head down by applying small, subtle amount of pressure by placing either hand behind the head until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for 10 seconds. In a sitting or standing position, standing preferred, and the head in a neutral position, retract the chin straight back as far as possible making sure you do not flex the head down towards the floor. From this position, gently extend the head back by looking up to the ceiling as far up as possible. Rotate the head slightly from one side to the other, then return to neutral position. If you become dizzy or nauseous, stop immediately. To stretch the right arm in a sitting or standing position, place the arm in front of the body with the elbow straight and palm facing up. With the left hand, grab the right hand and extend the wrist until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for 7 seconds, then gently apply a small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for 7 more seconds. Repeat the process on the left. To stretch the right forearm 
in a sitting or standing position, place the right arm in front of the body with the elbow straight and palm facing down. With the left hand, grab the right hand and flex the wrist until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply a small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. Repeat the process on the left. In a sitting or standing position, flex the right elbow and elevate it to the side of the head. With the left hand, reach behind the head and grab the right elbow and pull the elbow straight back until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply a small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. To stretch the left side, swing the left arm over the right side below the chin in a sitting or standing position. Place the right wrist proximal to the left elbow and apply gentle force backwards until you feel a mild tension or pulling. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply a small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. Repeat process on the right. To stretch the right hamstring, lie on the floor flat on your back. Grab the right thigh just below the right knee and pull towards the chest until you feel mild tension or pulling while maintaining a slight bend at the knee. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. Repeat process on the left. While seated perfectly erect on the floor, place the bottom of the feet together in front with both knees bent slightly. Place both elbows on the thighs closer to the knees while grabbing both ankles. Approximate both feet to the buttocks by pulling with your hands while applying gentle force to the thighs by the elbows straight down to the floor until you feel mild tension or pulling. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply a small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. Stand parallel in front of a wall about two feet away. Place your hands on the wall. To stretch the left calf muscle, place your right foot halfway between your left foot and the wall. Note that both feet are parallel and pointing straight to the wall. Keep bending your right knee while keeping the left knee straight until you feel mild tension or pulling. Be sure the left heel does not lift off of the floor at any time during the stretch. Hold for seven seconds, then gently apply small amount of additional stretch into the same direction and hold for seven more seconds. The right calf is stretched by bending the left knee while keeping the right knee straight with the heel flat on the floor. Begin with lying on your back with the knees bent and feet on the floor. Lift the right leg, then the left towards the chest and elevate the knees towards the head by supporting the pelvis with both hands. Notice the knees are slightly bent. Individuals who are very limber may extend the knees over the head with knees less bent or straight. Mild pulling sensation should only be felt. If pain or pinching is surfaced anywhere, the stretch should only be extended to the point before pain.